Hey there, it is Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, today I want to show you what a cool million dollars can buy you. I mean it's cheaper than this, but basically the licensing is charged on a per processor, per server basis for this piece of software. Huh? For that price is more than software. But anyways, it's the world's number one uh, internal uh, in-memory database that's used by industry uh, or institutions for uh, storing ticks. Uh, obviously you have Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Deutsche Bank as customers. Um, now for a million dollars it's an unlimited what's called universal license. Got this now of information from my friend at, uh, in London, he's a quant, and uh, this is one of the uh, tools used by a lot of the industry. Um, so let me just show you what we are dealing with. Uh, for KDB, it's basically, like I said, a, a database that has its own proprietary language called uh, Q. It's a query language, language no different than SQL. Um, and that it's, it's in memory, um, and it's primarily used for uh, ticks. So you can use uh, a data source like uh, um, Reuters, TIPCO, Bloomberg, and then store those ticks with a level two, um, which can be a futures FX or whatever, or, or, or equity. It's very quick. That's what these uh, organizations are using it for. There's also the TAQ, which is uh, uh, being able to instantly uh, uh, download uh, trades and quotes uh, from the New York Stock Exchange. So there's different versions of it. Um, now, this is a, a major hint for those that are interested in learning, again, in investment banking, and specialize in something that not a lot of people do, but uh, uh, it's very well paying. There's a huge demand for these type of developers that understand Q. Um, they do have an evaluation copy. Uh, it's only 32-bit. I don't know what the limitation of data is. I'm sure it's no different than the student version of MATLAB. Community also has some good documentation to get you started. Um, you know, something to, to consider uh, if you, like I said, if you're interested in getting into uh, into uh, the uh, world of KDB. Um, there's different uh, sources that you can go to. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I I think this I I played with it a little bit. Um, you might ask yourself, why would I need something like this versus an S NoSQL? Uh, I can't argue uh, NoSQL, like a Mongo or a, uh, a uh, <coughs> Redis, but uh, obviously you still have to build your connector into your data provider. Uh, probably use something like an IQ feed, um, their API, um, their developer. I mean, it's not too difficult to do, um, but it could be done. And uh, I don't see why you would really need it if you're trying to be an independent. But it's just something to consider and know about um, as an option if you, like I said, if you want to look at this as a career or whatever. Um, but it's there. Um, there you go uh, at kx.com. Talk to you later.